Or you could just give it to me. Well, I would want to be there with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably all right. So Baradin heads to Anari's arms. <clears throat> you come in and there's three people uh, basically banging away on metal. <laughs> Feel good. <clears throat> well, I look for the, uh, I guess, the owner or Anari. <clears throat> Anari, uh, he's a large man. Um, he's older, but muscular. He's around like 40. Uh, Does he look older. like a retired fighter? <laughs> Could be. He looks like a blacksmith or armor smith. Uh, when you come in, he basically stops whatever he's doing and he gives some direction to the other two, which are younger looking. And uh, he comes up to you and looks you over, kind of gauging you, uh, and basically says, you know, what can I help you with? Uh, greet him and uh, tell him I am in the market looking to see if you have any studded leather to sell and, and or a medium shield as well. Leather? Pfft, I don't deal in leather. Not even studded leather? <clears throat> He's like, what we've got here, most of our... He kind of, he, he like waves his hand over it, all the stuff that... You can see there's a lot of armor being made. Um, and, you know, the, he, he says basically they have a commission for the keep, uh, for the guards here and everything, and for the soldiers. Um, so they don't make uh, just leather... Uh, he says what he has on hand here. He's got some ring... Well, actually, let me see what he actually has. Hold on. <laughs> Apparently, he's got jack shit here. This <laughs> <Wow. pretty> stuck. <laughs> D3 minus one. <laughs> Rough. I guess all his orders are uh, filled. Yeah, he says normally he has ring mail, chain mail, and scale mail, but he doesn't have anything right now. Okay, but uh, good to know that he does carry ring mail for the future. He does carry weapons as well. He has most types of swords, uh, battle axes, and daggers. Ooh, axes. He does mention he has some other fancier weapons available. You look like the adventuring type, and they always like to have something, uh, you know, a bit fancier to help them spread the word about themselves, you know? Hmm. Some of yeah, these were commissioned by other adventurers that just never returned to pay for it. Well, let's see what you got. He's, he pulls out a long sword. Uh, that has a carved goblin head pommel and two clawed arms for the crossbar. Uh, he hands it over to you so you can check it. It seems well balanced. He tells you this fine piece was commissioned by a warrior. Uh, said he was going out, called himself the Goblin Slayer. Let me go over and hang out with Baradin while he but, uh, you pours know, the offerings. When you come in, they're like, hey! <laughs> I can see what's going on there, too. They look at you and they're like, are you buying anything? Shit, I was holding down the space bar instead of control. What was the last thing I actually said? <laughs> uh, you're about to show me the uh, fancy stuff. Okay, so I gave the entire giant description. <laughs> Thank you for hearing it. <laughs> Wonderful. But when uh, Master comes in, they're like, Hey, are you going to buy anything? Being dishonorable sucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it does. <laughs> Baron and help me out. Be like, I'm with you. They start talking like really Damn slow, like, Hey, elf boy, are you going to spend <laughs> any human money here? Oh, I just start laughing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I jingle my purse. 
He looks over at like one of the others and says, "Boy, go help that thing." And so one of the kids comes over to help you, and he go he turns back to Barrett and he pulls out this long sword. It's got a carved goblin head pummel and two clawed arms for the crossbar. Uh, he hands it over to you so you can test it out. You know, you feel it's got good weight and everything. He says this was commissioned by a guy who was calling himself the Goblin Slayer. He said he was going out to whoop some goblin ass, and he never came back. You can let that go for 26 silver. Oh, that's a nice sword. But more of an axe man. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't actually have any, like, special axes. Can I do an appraisal on the uh, on the sword to see if it actually is good work? Yeah. You actually have that skill, don't you? Yes, I do. Oh, you said you made a tracking roll. What? <laughs> Reroll it. Uh, it's just a normal sword, but the ornamentation on it, yeah, that's pretty much what it's worth. Okay. What color hair do you have? Black. Okay. <laughs> Why? Is that your house? <laughs> well, he said he's got another a short sword, but it's got the words red hair etched on the blade in Calamaran. He says he can <laughs> sell that to you for nine silver. Does Master have red hair? No. Hey. Oh dear. He also has a short sword with a split snake tail as the crossbar, and a snake's head with jeweled emerald eyes on the pommel. Let's sell that for 20 silver. Oh, that seems very lovely. But like I said, I'm more of an axe man. It's like, yeah, I don't have any special fancy axes like that, though if you wish to commission one, I could have one made for you in a few weeks or a month or so, probably. Mm, sounds like an idea. And you don't carry shields here, obviously. No, I believe that Dasis would have shields. Across the... across the road. Ah, thank you. Though you have piqued my interest about ringmail, I'll be checking in on that one soon once you've made some more. Yeah, and any armor I can we can resize for you in about a week or so. Well, that's good to know. Thank you, sir. Because just as an FYI, random armor you find out in the wild you will probably not fit into. Unless you kill your doppelganger and take it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank him and shake his hand and uh, leave. I'll piece out with Meriden, too. I snap my fingers and say, <laughs> and, you, and you can hear him say, I knew that elf weren't buying nothing. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to head over to Dasis now, because it's like, you know, right there. You can basically buy shields for double what the price is. Double? What the fuck? He tells you this is a remote outpost. It is hard to keep a supply chain. Bullshit. Chinsing fuck. <laughs> It is true. You saw the ridiculous path that you had to bring shit in through. Uh, I should just wait at the front gate and kill adventurers and take their shields. Well, you probably have to damage your shields to do that. No, because they'll be slung on the back and they only have like one hit point because they're coming in <laughs> off an adventurer. I should just take their shit. I know a thief that can backstab. And their shields are on their back. <laughs> He's got you there. Yeah, it's true. Uh, go up to the leather store, see if it's like, uh, for studded leather, is it still double the price or is it like quadruple or something? Just looking for the entry. Poor Ham's leather. Mm. 
All right, you ready for this? Oh god. He has one suit of studded leather. <laughs> and is it for halflings? I would say almost that everything that is made here is for humans. Okay. What's the price of that studded leather? Standard price. Oh, interesting. The armor and weapons uh, here, because they're actually made here, they'd be standard price. Most of the stuff Dasis gets is brought in from elsewhere. Does this place have shields, or is Dasis like the only place they carry it? No, yeah, he doesn't have shields here. Would they make a shield if you commissioned one at the iron plate? No, well, maybe, I guess. All right, Most shields up. are wood, though, right? Like, Oh, are they? Yeah, and this game doesn't really distinguish between uh, metal or wood being any different. I think it does just for the hit points, like for the... It doesn't make any difference as far as how much defense it gives you, but it makes a difference for the uh, break check. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna buy that super studded leather. Time to move up in the world. That's pretty. It's pretty sad when the fighter is moving up in the world to get studded leather. <laughs> yep. Uh, will he uh, purchase my old padded armor off? No. Even uh, you know, still covering goblin shit. <laughs> he, I mean, he suggests you take that outside and burn it. Actually, hold All on. Right. He has two sets of just regular leather armor, and also has one set of ring mail. Because ring mail is actually mainly leather with a few rings sewn into it, right? Oh, oh yeah. go back to that. Cool. <laughs> I want to make it up to ring mail. Is it also still standard price? Yep. He does tell you that his wife can dye it different colors if you wish. Green, red, blue, black, or brown. Ooh. <laughs> Options. Fuck okay, it, make the jump, go go to ring mail. I feel like a stud. Shadow <laughs> boy. Is that him? Is that the ring mail wearing warrior? Hey <laughs> yeah, man, ring mail is expensive, holy crap. <laughs> That's how they get you when you're a fighter. No shit. <laughs> yeah, wow, all these things above ring mail are like a million billion silver. <laughs> yes, the damage reduction is enormous. It though. will take a week to resize yeah. it to fit you, of course. That's alright. Tell them to take my measurements. Uh, you're a little slower now, too. Uh, that will change once I hit level 2. <laughs> oh, nice. Fighters are the only class that weapon speed actually gets better as they level. No, I mean your movement. Oh, movement? Yeah. Wow. It's still faster than half ones. <laughs> True. Hey, now. <laughs> if I ever get that full plate mail, my movement's reduced by 50%. Okay, Ace, when Zatha goes to the magic box, she's giving you the whole rigmarole. Like, oh, the spirits, you wish your fortune told. And I'm totally going to play along, as though... Okay, are you going with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to play along. And be like, what do the spirits say? <laughs> well, she makes the thing about the spirits require sacrifice, yada yada. Waves the bowl at you. <laughs> I'll shake my head and hold up five fingers. Can I do an observation check to see that? Yeah, I don't think you have to. I think he was aiming that at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
So then I look at you and point at the bowl. <laughs> and I'm gonna mention that you wouldn't let me bring it here by myself. If you're so attached to it, maybe you should pony up. How are you motioning this exactly? <laughs> by saying that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I'm like, well, more profits for me in the end. I tell you what, have these, and if we sell it, we split profit. Fine. All right, so I'll put in my two silver and uh, five copper. Same. <clears throat> She takes the wand. Looks it over. Fuck. Why do I even roll? As well as just tell them though. <clears throat> she does it it takes her a few minutes of uh, looking it over. She's like muttering to herself and like tracing over it with her finger and stuff. It gives it a few sort of flourishes. She's like mm, this is a wand of flame and fire. Actually, it's a wand of fire and flame, technically. Sorry. <laughs> Do either of you two know anything about wands? I'm assuming that no one in our group at all knows anything about wands. <laughs> I.e., do you have arcane lore? No, God no. I have divine lore. Divine lore only helps identifying magic items that only clerics can use. Okay, then. Nope. She says, wands are usually meant for mages. However, not all of them are limited to them. Some can be used by anyone. Some wands have effects that can only be used by a mage, but other lesser effects that can be used by others. A wand, wands also tend to have a variety of effects depending on how mm, charged they are. As you expend energy from the wand, it becomes weaker and can only produce lesser effects. And is it a limited reservoir of energy? In or does some of it replenish? No, it is limited. Although, uh, although wizards may replace some of this energy in the casting of the effect with their own magic to make it last longer. Ah. So, can we use it? So I'm looking that up right now. <laughs> wands, wands, wands. 294. Wow. Yeah, so Wand of Fire and Flame sadly can only be used by one trained in the arcane arts. Do you have an idea of what it would be worth? <laughs> I have no need for a Wand of Fire. Uh, I can't think of anyone else here uh, who would want, who would need such a thing. Um, <clears throat> Plus, having a wand without its command phrases is almost useless. Most effects are also linked to a specific command phrase that must be used to trigger the specific magic. It is a shame we don't have anything like 
Seriously. Like, what are we supposed to do with this stupid thing? Well, these are the kind of things used primarily by adventuring wizards. I mean, I don't really need one, and the odds of some other wizard coming through here are slim. I can't afford to just buy it and hang on to it until such a chance happens. I'm sorry. But at least now you know what it is. What was it exactly called? It's a wand of fire and flame. Generally, it shoots fire. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had it used on us. But sometimes it shoots flame. <laughs> it replicates various ma uh, magic user spells, not all of which I am actually able to cast myself. So, I mean, I'm not an expert, you know? But, uh, you know, it can, it can help you start fires... It can cast rays of flame, or even fireballs and walls of flame when it's fully charged. However, you said it was used against you, so I doubt it's fully charged. And that's the other thing. I can't even begin to offer, you know, to buy it without knowing how charged it is, and there's no way to tell such a thing. It could be able to fire fireballs for days, or it might be almost used up and lighting a campfire will make it expend itself. <clears throat> well, that is lame. Does she have any suggestions of where we might be able to sell it? Well, most places won't purchase magical items such as these. There's just no call for them. Merchants won't buy them. Uh, nobles don't want these things out and about uh, for just anyone to get either. However, kopars and universities will often pay for them to help defray training costs. And there, it, there isn't one in this town, is there? Uh, not in here. There's probably one in the relative area. I haven't checked yet. I won't need to check until you guys are level 6, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Guess we'll just hang on to it for now. You never know. We might come across an adventure wizard in the pub one day. We might be able to sell it to Yeah. Or is that the version two? Yeah, or something like that. Two. Yeah. Huh? I did a fireball on Zatha, but it didn't show up on my other screen. <laughs> she nods and thanks you cool. for your patronage. Not All bad right. for her. I mean, she thought this was going to be a shit day after some scummy elf came in and gave her just one trade coin, but she actually ended up making a fair haul. <laughs> cool. Oh, God, yeah. Was there anything else that... I think just training. I want to try to buy one of these leather armors, see if I can, like... Actually, be... oh, I I know what I want. A purchasing thing. Actually, this near-death experience motivates you to upgrade. Just like one thing. Right, and I still want to know what the rolled linens are. <laughs> oh, she could check that too, I guess. Oh yeah, that'd be great. looks at that um, same deal though five silver <laughs> you know what she'll do it for four silver because she likes Kaithen 
You want to go have these on this one too? Sounds good. Like, why do we need her to do the linens? Are they magic? I think that we're getting that impression. Okay, let's do it. I mean, if they're totally non-magical, she may just... Uh, Kaithen had a pretty good indication they were probably magical when he uh, did his appraisal. Oh, uh, okay. She says these... Uh, did you pay her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She says these are linens of healing. Are you taking notes? I'll give you the general effects. Um... Basically, well, they heal you. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. But they need to be used by somebody trained uh, in first aid. Basically, when somebody uses... You know when you, you do a first aid on someone who's just been damaged to heal that one hit point? This will magically heal it more. Okay. So that's helpful. That's really helpful, actually, considering my healing is somewhat unreliable. Yep. Sounds good. How many quote-unquote uses does it have? That's a fine question. Unlimited. That's the thing, I don't think you ever really are able to tell these things. Okay. I know there is a magic ring that you can get that you put on your wand and then it has a, like, a little readout on it to tell you how many charges it has. That's fun. <laughs> I mean, I, I put rings on my wand all the time. <laughs> Chat killer. Okay, I think that's it then. Okay, so at the end of the day, there's some leftover healing spells. But you know what? Within a few days, you guys will all be healed. It's not really something we have to worry too much about since you're getting free healing at the shrine. Um, a couple of days, you might have to, you know, not get any extra magical healing. Some days, you might get a bit extra. Some days, Kaithen might even be able to heal you. <laughs> if he wants to. So, I can't believe it got to be almost 11 o'clock before we actually got to the training part. <laughs> <laughs> I was so expecting it to be to like, alright, leave the manor, level up, uh, figure out what we're doing. <laughs> I guess we, we had throw. shit to do, man. Okay, since you guys...